Welcome. In front of me is a ZTE Blade V10 Vita and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. Now obviously you can see that I can unlock the phone either using a pattern or if I click here using the Google account. So assuming we don't know either of those what we will need to start off is a SIM card with a pin on it. Now I have mine already inserted so let me pop it out because it's not really helping me right now. So there we go. As you can see, there it is, there's the SIM card. So once you have a SIM card with a pin, all you need to do uh, is slap it in there, give it a second, and you will be, well, have the screen for verifying the pin. Once you confirm it, it will go into a lock screen with this on the screen. So what you wanna do is slide this to the side. There we go. And tap on the settings icon. Then go to the eye information for information icon. Uh, this will take us right over here. So let's tap on advanced, scroll down to browser apps, then scroll down, opening links, scroll down to YouTube. From here, you want to tap on the application itself. Advanced, again, scroll down. Actually, no, my bad. It's going to be notifications right at the top and then advanced and additional settings in the app and from here you want to tap on about and then go to youtube terms of service and this will open up chrome now i'll mention one thing right now uh, if uh, after tapping on about you don't see anything uh, then you need to well simply go through the setup process and connect to wi-fi you do need a wi-fi for this obviously so from here, let's tap on accept and continue, no thanks, and then tap on the search bar and go to hard reset that info. Tap on the three bars and then go to the download. And then in the download search bar, you want to type in Android 8. There we go. Scroll down, tap on the download button right here. And again, scroll down and you'll have the download link right here. So what you wanna do is hold it and choose to open an incognito tab, continue, allow, okay. And this will start the download. Give it a second and it should finish the download. At which point you wanna tap on open then go to the settings, allow from this source, so check this on, go back, install. So once it's done installing, simply open it up by tapping open. And from here, uh, you should tap on the Google Account Manager APK install, select for version 6.0. And again, we need to go into the settings, allow from this source, and then go back and again, install. Now, once it's done installing, click on done, and then go back, go to the bypass FRP, choose browser sign-in, and tap on the three dots, and go to, again, browser sign-in. Confirm it, give it a second, and it should open up our Google. So, from here, you can log in with your Google account. Now, that can be either uh, one that you can create specifically for this purpose, existing one, it really doesn't matter. Now, for this process, I'm gonna use my existing one, so. And from here, I'm going to put in a password. There we go. Okay, so from here, once you have installed the app, all you really need to do now is press the power key, select restart, and wait for the device to boot back up. So once you unlock it, Let's now go through the setup. Now at this point, uh, you do want to just simply go through it quickly with skipping basically everything that you can. And I'll mention right here, a fairly important part, 
can see that right now it tells me that account was added and provides me with the account that I have added right before the restart. Uh, this is previously where we would have the screen that was stopping us from finishing the setup, with, with, at which point we would have to verify the account. And right now it just says, oh, the account added, cool, you can go further. So let's do that and finish up the setup. Now also mentioned that the bypass is still not fully completed, so I just go through this as quick as possible without actually adding anything important right here because like I said it doesn't really matter right now. Okay, so once you're on the home screen you want to go into the settings, scroll all the way down to system, tap on advanced, reset options, erase all data, factory reset, and from here tap on reset phone, erase everything and this will basically remove all the old accounts that were blocking us along with the one that we have added and once it's finished we will be back in the setup screen with the difference of this at that time the device being fully unlocked so i'll be back once the reset has been completed Okay, so now that the process has been finished on the reset, um, from here we can either well, put in the pin uh, for the SIM card or simply pop it out. There we go. So I'll just take out the SIM card and there we go. And from here we can actually simply finish the setup. Now obviously you can see one key difference here, uh, skip button. If the device would still be locked, skip as uh, nowhere to be seen, uh, but because we can see it, obviously the device is not locked anymore. So once more, I'm just gonna go quickly through this setup, uh, skipping everything that I can, uh, but at this point, you can do whatever you want. You can add all the protections, Google accounts and all that stuff, and everything will work just fine. The device by now is fully unlocked. And, and there we go. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.